Hi, everyone, and welcome to our blog. I am Jim Cuervo, Senior Trainer and Support here at Digital Drafting Systems. The following is an excerpt from our What is New in Revit 2024 webinar. Please do not hesitate to drop us a line should you have any questions. Enjoy our presentation. Moving on, let's start with the user interface improvements. We have the new dark theme for Revit. Okay, this makes it look a lot more like the uh, AutoCAD uh, user interface and the uh, Maya, and you can also apply a dark interface to the Mac. So it's much more cohesive across the board. You also have the ability to change the canvas, as you can see here in this particular little slide in the area in this area here you're able to change it as far as the whole interface is concerned but you're also able to change the canvas color right there now the background color is what affects this so that means that if this is available for you to actually choose a different color then that color will become whatever it is that uh, whatever is associated to whether it's dark or the light now, the old, one more thing that I would like to uh, tell you about before we actually see how this works is that the use system settings is basically equal to the light uh, interface, okay? So without any further ado, let's take a, see, a look and see how this actually is working. As you can see at this point, we are looking at a, a white interface, which is the default. And before we go, as I, we said earlier, there is the insight. So you have the ability to actually take a look at your insights right there very easy once again it's the incorporation of more uh um I'm, I'm going to call these um uh artificial intelligence tools because this actually is act analyzing your your work and seeing how they can help you improve your productivity as we said earlier now to take a look at the change of the uh um canvases and the um, um, the way that the software looks in the user interface if we go over here and switch it over to the open uh, on area and with the uh, ribbon and we can come over here to the options in the options we would then go to colors and it is here that we can actually change what we need to change you'll notice that i have the light and dark here which i'm going to switch it over to the light to light and that's what is this is actually doing if i go ahead and say okay and let's go ahead and open up any any soft uh, any part of the um, or any one of the drawings that we have over here let's switch it over to recent so we can take a look and let's uh, let's take a see and um let's take a look at uh, any one of them it doesn't matter so let's go ahead and take a look at this one okay in this one you'll see once again as i was saying that the user interface is in in lighter colors because that's the way we've defined it and the, the uh, canvas which is what this section is called is in in light color also you will also notice that interestingly enough, and I really, really did want to point this out, is that the icons have changed a, a bit here in uh, to, in the uh, Revit. Let me just switch over to level one. As you can see, they're kind of a little softer in color, a little easier and more um, uh, easier on the eyes is what I would like to say for these. And there's a change in the uh, darkness of it, makes it easier. So. Now that we've seen a couple of these, let's go ahead and see how we can change the colors here. Go back to file options. Okay, go to the color section and let's switch it over to the dark to see what it looks like. In order for it to be invoked, we need to say okay. And there it is. Beautiful looking interface right now with this uh, nice dark background, which is more uh, um, equivalent to what the AutoCAD actually looks like nowadays. Okay, one more thing that I wanted to point out, and I know this is not in a, in a list of things, but interesting is that we have the now a new section type, which is called a working section right there, which is available when you actually invoke your sections. This is actually great because I I'm one of the people who actually would go ahead and create a section and call it a working section. But now we have a definite style set for the Revit which is a working section is extremely useful so once again let's go back into the colors here and let's see if we can actually change the canvas area to a light color and leave the rest of it in the dark area that for that we need to go back to files and options and once in options we come back to the colors and what we need to change is the canvas color if we wanted to change it to a different color we could go in here rather than do that i'd rather just go ahead and switch it to the light color and say okay to that and once again 
we have our beautiful little view in white background rather than black background. So in that, we see the changes of color for the user interface. Following this, we have moder modernized project browsers with use search engine. The search engine, not only does it feels like a search engine, it actually feels more like a filter, which is actually super cool because it abbreviates what we're actually looking at. And as we all know, these lists of the project browser can get quite extensive. So let's see how that works. Let's go ahead and back over to our, our pro, um, software, Revit 2024. And as you can see, a couple of things that to point out before we start to look at the search engine, which is right here, is we can see we still have the 2023 edition of the what views have been placed on uh, sheets by depicting them in these little boxes in blue. The white boxes are obviously the ones that are not, have not been uh, actually placed on sheets. Okay, you'll also notice that there used to be kind of like, see this little box right here? that used to be a little box for the plus or minus, and it was not in bold, it was just in actual regular font. Now the plus or minuses here are in bold, and it's a little easier to see, okay? And now let's take a look and explore the um, search engine. If I come, come in here and I say, let's say for example, L, you'll notice what happens. It actually goes ahead and selects every possible view that we have, that includes sheets, it doesn't matter what it is, it's whatever it has with the letter L in it. You see that, that little L is actually highlighted. Okay, it's a little easier to see the highlights here on the top ones, as you can see. So can we actually make it a little bit more precise as far as the search is concerned? Absolutely, let's go ahead and say ARC, and look what happens, just like I told you, it almost becomes like a filter. It's, in fact, I consider this a filter no matter what, because it actually shows me only those objects that have the ARC, which makes this a lot easier for us to navigate, especially as we uh, stated before, these lists can be quite extensive. 